Well, actually he did, but it got stolen. That in the interview I did with Dr. Malloy. You know, I'm missing a stapler, too, and a few pens. I don't know if I misplaced them or... So let me get this straight. You just let somebody waltz in here and take the box? Well, no, actually, I hid it. But whoever broke in, they knew exactly what they were looking for. Okay. Beeping device. Do -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. Um, power cell item... What Listen, is Archie, what can you tell me about this power cell? Well, uh, according to Malloy, there were two of them on the spacecraft recovered at Roswell. Um, the, re the research scientists decided that it was some sort of alien battery, and they tried to break one down. Um, the other one was cataloged and, and stored somewhere in the Roswell complex. Mm hmm. What can I tell me about Roswell? You think you're the first person who ever wanted to get in there? Heck, every UFOologist in the world would love to get in there and take a look around the complex. So why don't they? Well, look, first of all, it's secured. The military, they don't want anybody getting in there. It's only accessible with top-level security clearance. Okay. What is about this Alice interview with Malloy? The interview that I did with Dr. Malloy was on uh, two separate discs. They only got the first one. You want to watch it? Sure. Sorry for the interruption, Doctor. This power cell, as you call it, could it be used to power these ships? Hypothetically. But first we'd have to get into the Roswell complex. And the military isn't about to roll out the red carpet. Well, rumors have circulated for years about what really happened there. Would you care to shed some light on the incident? Well, I can only tell you what I've heard. Among the various items recovered at the Roswell crash were several egg-shaped capsules stored inside a containment chamber. Now, no one could figure out how to open the capsules, so they faded into the background for years. <laughs> then the researchers figured out how to operate the accelerator. Apparently, someone used it on one of the capsules and something was released into the facility. And whatever it was, it killed off almost everyone in the complex before the military could quarantine the area. And no one's been in the complex since then? <sighs> Not that I know of. Thank you for your time, Doc. So, what do you think? Uh, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, the stuff about Roswell was interesting. He didn't say anything about the Pandora device. Nope. So what are we going to do now? Well, I've got to find out more about the Pandora device. Maybe I ought to contact Elijah Witt. Ooh, I, I don't think that's a very good idea. Why not? Well, you see, Mr. Witt, you know, he's a personal friend of mine, but uh, he's a very important, very private person. He, he doesn't like strangers. <laughs> Too many wackos on the loose, if you know what I mean. <laughs> People like you? Know exactly what you mean, Archie. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, not true. <laughs> Okay, let's end the conversation here. Talking to Alice was like entering the Twilight Zone. All this hocus pocus about aliens and quarantines. And what's the story of the Pandora device Ellis referred to? I wonder if it could be linked to the boxes Malloy sent out. Well, one thing seems pretty clear. Malloy considered the power cell to be important to his work and was convinced that one was still hidden away inside the Roswell military complex. I have the feeling we are going to visit the Roswell complex soon. Kind of scares me. <laughs> Text office. Okay. Let's call Fitzpatrick again. Which dial? Good evening, Tex. You look as though you're on to something. What can I do for you? Well, I had a little talk with Archie Ellis. It seems that Dr. Malloy was working on something called the Pandora device, and I think it's connected to the boxes. I'd like to run some of these new developments by you. What can I tell you about Roswell? I need some information about the Roswell military complex. What kind of information? Well, I got one of the boxes open, and inside I found a picture of what I've been told is an alien power cell recovered from the UFO crash at Roswell. 
I think the power cell must tie in somehow with the Pandora device. And apparently, the only place I'm going to find the power cell is inside the Roswell complex. You intend to go to the Roswell military base? Sure. Well, I don't see any way around it. That's why I called. I need to find a way in. I don't think I can help you. My security clearance there is a thing of the long past. Any suggestions? The only people that would still have access to the base would be top military personnel. And perhaps the NSA. Well, if that's all, I guess I better get ready to go. If you're certain you must go to Roswell, there's one other thing that I should tell you. The military base is well camouflaged, and you could spend weeks trying to locate the site. I'll give you the coordinates. Yay, coordinates. If you have connections to the NSA, that's where I'd go to get security clearance high enough to get into the Roswell military base. Oh, my plan was to just dress up as a pizza delivery boy. Pizza for Mr. Alien. Ooh, why are you pointing your guns at me? Yes, that's why I'm not a PI and or just a let's player. What can I tell you about Archie Addy's puzzle box? It's possible that the box that Mr. Ellis received was a blind meant to throw the NSA off track. How do you know? Hmm. Oh, that's any conversation. Oh! Hey, Hello? Got a second? Sure. Actually, I'm really in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. If this is a bad time, just give me a call later. See ya. Yes, yes. Bye. Despite warnings from Ellis and Fitzpatrick, I'm bound for Roswell. Hopefully the alien power cell is somewhere in the Roswell military complex. I know that without it, I'll never find out Malloy's secret. Day 6, South by Southeast. The trip to Roswell takes about four and a half hours, giving me plenty of time to think. Something's bothering me from the last time I went to the Cosmic Connection. And it hits me. A black Avatar speeder was parked down the street. Could have been the NSA. A voice in the back of my head keeps telling me that Archie Ellis is in danger. Or is it that they're just keeping tabs on me? Eventually, I locate the military base, and using the NSA ID badge I found at Autotech, I'm able to get into the complex. The area is still running various security systems, but the place is totally abandoned, at least by humans. I like it that every military complex is totally abandoned every time Tech survives. Ugh. <laughs> if you're happy and you know, we clap your hand. If you're happy. And you know, we clap your hand. I'm gonna save the game now. Da, 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 da. How many videos did I record this time? Da, da. Um, recordings. This is the four, fourth. Wonderful! Haha! <laughs> Perfect! Well, we are day six, and this game has nine, ten days. Well, day ten is only a it's only ending, but we have quite a lot to do still. <coughs> awesome. Nice. I like long games. Anyways, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon. So, take care and goodbye.